What's going on guys, it's Real Touch Gmail here back with another Game Maker tutorial and today we will be creating a day and night system. Now the day and night system that we will be creating today can be seen in my game that I actually uploaded a while back, uh, Block World. The link will be in the description so you can go ahead and check it out, but that is the game that we are, uh, not the game, the day and night cycle that we will be creating. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new sprite. I'm going to call it SPR Night. And I'm going to edit that. And what you're going to want to do is uh, make it a new sprite, but you're going to want to make the dimensions the size of your room. So 640 by 480. Okay. Now what you want to do is that with your fill tool, go ahead and pick a color um, that's going to be nighttime for you. So this is what it's going to look like at night uh, in your game. So go ahead and just pick, a, pick out a nice color and do not center it. Make it 0, 0. So go ahead and create a new object. I'm just going to call this one OBJ Cycle. And you're actually not going to want to give it the sprite. Now the reason we're not going to want to give it the sprite is if we go ahead and create a room here. And we put it in our room. As you can see, that fills up the whole entire uh, room, this, this nighttime thing. Uh, and that gives us no room to go ahead and design our level because then we'll be deleting it and... Uh, you know when we're trying to place blocks down to actually design everything it's just going to get in the way a lot so there's an easy way to actually go by that and if it's in the create event what you're gonna do is you're gonna type sprite index equals SBR night or whatever you called your your uh, night sprite now if you go ahead and click that and you go ahead and don't give it a sprite and you put it in your room in the, in the very top corner of your room right there uh, when your game starts it's actually that sprite right here this little question mark is going to fill up uh, and take the sprite of what we've just done here which is our nighttime so it's basically there it's just not getting in the way okay so in the create event what we're gonna do is we're also going to say alarm 0 equals 120 now pretty much what I would I uh, why I picked this is because we are going to start the game off in daytime mode. Okay, this is day mode. Now, after this alarm zero gets uh, taken, it's going to start turning into nighttime. So this is how long you have until nighttime begins. Um, and we're also very important. We're going to set image alpha to equal zero. This is pretty much making our image transparent, so you cannot see it. All right. So now what we're going to do is in the alarm zero. Now this, pretty much the alarm zero, is going to be turning it into nighttime. Let's go and get some code in here and say if image alpha is less than one, image alpha plus equals 0 0.1. And we're going to set alarm zero to equal 30 okay uh, else if image alpha uh, is greater than or equal to 1 alarm 1 equals 120 alright so I can go ahead and explain what this does here um, so what we're doing here is we're saying if the image alpha is less than 1 now, if you remember in the create event, we set image alpha to zero, so it is less than one, which is true. Then it's going to set the image alpha plus to uh, plus zero point one. Uh, and if you're not familiar with image alpha, basically when it's at zero, it's transparent. If it if image alpha is at one, it is so, it's a solid. Uh, you can see the whole thing. There's no transparency there. So what we're doing is, uh, if image alpha is less than one we're going to actually add to that kind of displaying or fading in that nighttime effect and then after that alarm zero is going to equal 30 again and it's going to re go through this uh... now if you want the nighttime to transition faster you can go ahead and make this a, a, a lower number but for now i'm just going to set it to 30 which is one second but now if image alpha is greater than or equal to one we're going to set alarm one to equal 120 now, uh, 
this number right here is how long it will be nighttime for. So you usually want to have night and day at the same time. You can switch it up. I don't. It doesn't matter what you do. But what we're going to do is in alarm zero, go ahead and duplicate that to alarm one. And pretty much all we're going to do is say greater than zero, image alpha minus equals 0 0.1. And we're going to set this to alarm one because we're in alarm one. This is less than equal to zero. Alarm zero. OK. Uh, again, do pretty much doing the same exact thing, uh, just opposite. So if we go ahead and play our game. As you can see, I forgot to do one thing here. In your actual room, in the backgrounds tab, go ahead and set your your night color. Or your, I'm sorry, your day color. Okay, so here we have a nice daytime view. Oh, look at you know, look at the sunset. Oh, and it starts to fade to night. Um, as you can see, it's got that nice fade. And if you want that to fade more, like faster. Again, you would put down that uh, that uh, the alarm zero, but okay. As you can see, it fades to daytime, and it will go through this an infinite amount of times because it's pretty much infinite. So uh, yeah, if you go ahead and like this tutorial, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you like my videos, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, I will see you guys next time.